Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today we have a blockbuster among the biggest blockbusters, I don't even know how to explain it, trade to announce between the Calgary Flames and the Florida Panthers involving Matthew Kachuk and Jonathan Huberto and a lot more on top of things. There is so much with this deal and when I saw it, I was just absolutely flabbergasted. But you know what? Let's give you the details and let's give you the thoughts on this deal as well as who could potentially potentially win this trade on top of things but when it comes to this Calgary and Florida trade who ends up winning this deal and what are the trade details at hand watch till the end for the complete thoughts and the complete news and make sure with that subscribe button if you are new 50% of you guys aren't subscribed so if you like trade content this channel is the place to be now no jump cuts because again we had some craziness here Elliot Freeman confirming that Florida is the team to go and acquire Matthew Kachuk from the Calgary Flames. I guess that was pretty quick. Dang. And right after, it was confirmed by Elliot Freeman that Kachuk will get an eight-year, $9.5 million extension. As for the actual trade itself, this just blows my mind. It's it's nuts. I was expecting, and we were going through mock trades in the past, we were expecting Kachuk to be dealt for a first-rounder, a top prospect, a good roster player, maybe some cap dumps as well going back to the Calgary Flames a couple of solid players and a, and a big first round pick for sure but nothing that was going to be absolutely insane until until this trade was made now if I seem excited my entire life revolves around hockey and when big trades happen it's kind of my favorite time of the year so uh keep that in mind with me but as for the actual trade itself the Florida Panthers get Matthew Kachuk with an extension in place and to the Calgary Flames they receive Jonathan Huberto the Kenzie Weger, Cole Schwint, and a first round pick. Now, this is big because we heard Mackenzie Weger being in rumors, but Jonathan Huberto coming out of nowhere and being in here is, is just insane. And to see him as well on the market, potentially, it, it, or on a, in a trade just feels so weird. He's, uh, of course, but he'll be a UFA after this next year. He signed up $5.9 million and was just, of course, in that Hart Trophy conversation. And to see him a part of this trade package, it, it just, I, I couldn't even believe it at first. But honestly, in terms of my first raw reactions, I really do love this trade a lot for both teams involved. If the Florida Panthers knew that they weren't going to be able to re-sign Huberto and make the cap work, and they go for a player like Matthew Kuchuk instead, I mean, we saw in the playoffs and at points where with Huberto, it was less than what you wanted to see, especially after his great regular season. He was a lot more invisible and a lot less impactful, and you get a player like Matthew Kuchuk who likely adapts to the playoff game a lot better and will likely be signed for a little bit less too. Huberto might have gotten maybe 10, 10.5 on the open market. And with Calgary, now they're going to have a big UFA to sign in a year's time. But still for Calgary to land a player of that magnitude, plus Mackenzie Weger, I think is huge for them. And it really shows that they still want to compete and they still want to be as good as humanly possible. And you add one of the more underrated defensemen in the league in Weger and one of the offensive superstars in Huberto. And to me, even though you lose Kachuk and you lose lose Goudreau, it's not the end of the world now for them, at least right now. Plus, they get a first-round pick, which again, I think it will be in 2025. It's not confirmed yet as I'm recording this, but the Panthers don't have their first in 2023 or 2024, so 2025 it does make sense for them. But, it, it, it's just on, uh, it's just, it, uh, this this trade just came out of nowhere. It's a, It shocked the heck out of me to see the Jordan Huberto and Mackenzie Wigger in the same trade package and for Calgary to get a first-rounder and a player like Cole Schwinn, who could be a roster player as well on top of the off the top of things I mean they don't get a top prospect but they do get a first round pick a top four D man and one of the best offensive players in the league for a player like Matthew Kachuk honestly a way better return than I ever thought was possible for the Flames and there is a chance of course that Hubert Doe does walk after this next year but I feel like if I'm Calgary I feel like they might have a good idea that Hubert Doe might stay and if he does if, if Hubert Doe does extend in Calgary this to me is is 
way better than I ever expected a Matthew Kachuk deal to be. When you combine all the assets together, it's just a monstrous offer. And again, going back to the expectations, I mean, the best player I thought the, the Flames could have gotten is like a Jordan Cairo, for instance. But Jonathan Huberto was on a different tier, and to see that type of player back, plus Uyghur, who, again, I think can be really underrated, even though these last playoffs weren't that great for him and were really inconsistent. You also get, again, a first-round pick, which, for the Panthers, it likely won't be amazing for the Flames but that was something that we knew was likely going to be in a Kachuk deal. But I, again, for the Florida Panthers, I can't really blame them too much for making this deal. Mackenzie Weger was a player we already heard in rumors, and if, again, they knew that they didn't want to re-sign Huberdeau and they couldn't sign Huberdeau, getting a player like Matthew Kachuk, who is younger, who can provide a lot of what they don't have in the lineup, is, is so important for what they're trying to do and what they're trying to push with the playoffs and how they're trying to get better in that department. What was kind of interesting to me was when we were floating around the potential uh, of Matthew Kachuk going to Florida. I always thought that Patrick Hornquist would be going in the deal to make the cap work, but now that Jonathan Huberto is in the deal, I guess there's no need for that. But just seeing how crazy it has become and, and what a deal it has been. I mean, this is one of the biggest trades in, in, in this decade so far, and it might be one of the bigger trades in the entire decade when it's all said and done. A superstar in Kachuk, a superstar in Huberto, and a fantastic defenseman in Uyghur. That's such a big package, and to see see the Flames pull off something like this, to see the Panthers go bold and go brash with Matthew Kachuk as well. I mean, honestly, even though I do think the value skews towards Calgary, if especially Huberdeau does resign, I can definitely see where the Panthers are coming from here. And again, going back to what they want to do, how they want to push, and how they want to be better in the playoffs, Kachuk does bring them closer, even though I think Uyghur will be a huge loss for them, especially when they do make the playoffs these next few years. Kachuk will bring that different element, and especially on that top line, him alongside Alexander Barkov is going to be a treat to watch. And also for Florida, this is a big part of things. They didn't get rid of Anton Lindell, they didn't get rid of Spencer Knight, they didn't get rid of any really big prospect. I mean, Goldschwin is solid, but no other prospect like Grigory Denisenko, no other prospect on top of that like Evan Naz or Mackie Semiskevich. So they keep that prospect pool pretty refined and pretty much the exact same. And I think for the Panthers, that is a huge part of things. You do get rid of a first round pick. You do get rid of one of your best forwards and one of your best defensemen. But at the same time, you bring in a top forward. You keep that prospect pull. You keep a lot of the youth you're trying to build. As well as, again, with that extension, 9.5 for the next eight years. To me, that's a great contract for Matthew Kachuk. And to me, I see the value just building on for both teams here. And again, if Calgary is able to, to if, if Calgary is able to resign Sign. If they're able to re-sign Huberto, to me, I think it could look pretty great for both teams involved. So, I'm going to say the Calgary Flames win this deal if they re-sign Huberto, but honestly, I feel like this trade could end up working out for both teams. But I want to know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of this Mafia Chuck deal? Who do you think wins, the Calgary Flames or the Florida Panthers? Let me know your thoughts down below. Huge trade here and a huge exchange of big players. And of course, share this video with your friends, get the trade details out out there hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for all the breakdowns in the future and i will see you in the next one goodbye